I um, wanted to share the advice of EAS Master Beekeeper, Carol Hoffman. She's going to talk a little bit about how methods she uses to clean out dead outs. Hi, Carol. Hi, how are you guys today? Carol, can you tell us a little bit? So some beekeepers reuse old mold home and this practice is uh, stressing out the bees. And, uh, this practice could lead to uh, transmission of disease pathogens. Can you tell us a little bit more? Do you reuse the old comb and equipment? You're absolutely right. Using that old comb is not a good idea. You want to make sure and get those entombed pollen frames out of there. You want to make sure to sort through your equipment throughout the year to remove those entombed pollen frames. The bees will never eat that. Uh, you want to make sure and uh, pull out any dark combs that you see, black combs that you see. The uh, standard operating procedure is to please try and rotate all those old combs out once every three years for the cleanest uh, hives. Uh, that way you're not getting pesticide, fungicide, uh, antibiotic, or other uh, harmful residues in those hives uh, moving forward. Right, so that's very important advice that I'm going to call and throw away all old comb that looks black, that has been used more than three years. But what I do, what I do about the comb that was maybe um, just uh, used last year or still looks all right and I want to use it. How do you clean it? Oh, yes. When I go into my yard, first thing in the springtime, I often find I have dead outs. And to take care of those, that's what I have to do is I have to clean out all the dead bees in there. I have to clean out all the mouse debris. I'm going to see a little bit of green mold in there. I'm going to see a little bit of yuckiness in there. But my comb is overall pretty good shape. So what I do is I use glacial acidic acid to fumigate those frames and those hives. And I can give them clean back to the bees. And uh, now I'm not giving the bees these uh, sick franks. My bees are able to start with really clean equipment. Megan Milbrath did a great article there in Bee Culture Magazine earlier this year about dead outs. Uh, she didn't mention glacial acidic acid. I, I like to focus on that today, is you're going to realize that you're killing all of the famous spores in the wax, the pollen, and the honey. You're killing all the European fowl root spores. You're killing all of the chalk root spores. You're killing the wax moth and the wax moth larvae. You're killing the hive beetles and the hive beetle larvae. You are not killing American fowl brood. That requires a whole different method of taking care of that equipment. Often you have to burn it. Uh, it's important to work safely. Carol, what do you do to make sure that you're using this glacial acidic acid fumigation and you're using all the safety precautions? What should I look for? Yes, this is glacial acidic acid, which is 90% anhydrous vinegar. Your table vinegar is 5%. We're asking that you don't cut it at all, that you keep it at the 90%. But to do that, it's pretty caustic. So you don't want to use metal at all when you're doing this procedure. And you also want to make sure you have all your safety gear on. You have your eye protection. You have your latex or nitrile gloves. Uh, you want to have at least a gallon of water next to you. So if you do get any on your foot, your clothes, you can that area immediately and dilute that to an, a non-caustic solution. Great. So you want to be you want to be using your protective equipment and not have any metal parts. So no metal covers or any other parts of the hive that have metal on them. That's good. We're going to actually post a little checklist to um, to use all the safety precautions when doing fumigation with glacial acidic acid. But I'm really excited because I think that this is a safe, um, sustainable method that beekeepers can use. And it certainly is much better than just reusing equipment and doing nothing to clean it up. Carol, how did you learn about this method? Uh, well, a long, oh, oh, quite a while ago, we uh, read Diana Sumitaro's book. I believe it was the third edition of Diana Sumitaro's Beekeeper's Handbook. I highly recommend the book to all beekeepers. Awesome. And so we're going to post a link to that book so that, uh, and another video that explains and demonstrates the glacial acidic acid fumigation in the yard. How That's long? Very good idea. 
how, lo how long do you, is it a time consuming method? How much, how long will it take? And when can you do it? It doesn't take very long. At all. There are a lot of white papers written about it. Even in different parts of Europe, talking about the efficacy of it and the tests that they've done to see how well it works for them. And they are also saying that it's clearing up the European fog roots. So that uh, I am seeing that my bees love it. After I do this, they go right straight to those combs. I'm not giving them any harmful residue at all. This is naturally occurring. Once it totally evaporates, it's not in the hives at all anymore. Carol, thank you for talking to us about it. I'm excited to give a jump start to our bees with the acid fumigation. Thank you. This has been great for visiting with me. Thank you.